Hey everyone, it's Melody with Design by Melody. I am here with the eighth layout using my Citrus Twist Kit. And this is the very last layout that I'm gonna do for this kit. And as you can see, this is all I got left. I don't have a whole lot left. And what I do have just seems like a strange mishmash of things. So I'm not really sure what to do with it. So I am very first thing going to pull out a piece of white cardstock and use that as my base for this layout. Because I had so many other things, I just wasn't sure what to use and for some reason I feel like the color on this video is slightly off so I apologize for that I feel like it's like um like there's I don't know it just doesn't seem bright enough for whatever reason so make sure you pay attention to the still photos at the end I feel like that's going to give you a better representation of the actual colors of these papers so what I'm going to first start with is this bright blue or this dark blue paper. I really like it, but I just struggled using it as a whole piece because it just had such a pattern in the background. So I am first going to cut it down and I'm going to create a bit of a strip across the middle of the page. And I'm going to use these two papers to be on either side of my photo. Thought about matting it and I was like, well, no, let's, let's do this. So what I'm going to do is cut it to where it's probably about a four and a half by four inch strip. And that's going to be on the left side of my photo. And then the other side of my photo is going to be about a one and a half by four inch strip of this, um, polka dot paper. And that's going to be pretty much the only pattern paper that I use on this layout. So this one, as I mentioned, is a bit of a struggle for me, but I really, I think I really like how it turned out. I um, move things around for a bit, but it does come together. Sometimes whenever I'm at the end of the kit, I want to use the products, but if I start to struggle with it too much, that's when I know I'm done with the kit. And that's kind of where I ended up with this one. So I am, first now that I have my papers down, I'm gonna go ahead and start going through all the die cuts and all the things that I have left in the kit to see what I want to use. So I end up using this die cut war that says beautiful, and that's going to be part of my title. Now it's same, it may seem a little bit strange, the title that I choose. I chose beautiful boys as my title. And I know that seems like strange, but really these are, these are my beautiful little baby boys. Um, of course, Kaylin with the dark curly hair is mine. And then the baby is my younger sister's baby, and that is Finn. Now I am very close to all of my nephews. I have three in total. Um, there is Finn, who is my younger sister's only child. And he is, now he is, let's see, 14, 15 months old at the present day. And then my older sister has two boys. She has one that is four he'll be I guess he's four and a half and then she has one that is eight months oh lord I need like a calendar okay I think he's eight months old and so um all of them I'm extremely close to all three of my nephews and this just happened to be a day that they were up here they were up here for Kaylin's birthday we went to the Christmas parade and this was us hanging out at our house afterwards and so it's just a picture of Kaylin holding Finn um, of course he was supervised very much supervised because he cannot hold a baby on his own um, but it's just a really pretty picture to me to see the two of them together and my journaling is very simple it's it's um, more so just about the relationship but I just put in my journaling these boys are some very special boys I hope they always stay as close to each other as they are from the beginning and then I dated it um, November 2015 and yes our Christmas parade in Raleigh North Carolina is in November um, so this is going to go in the November part of my album and then I just put Kaylin and Finn on there to document their names because sometimes when the babies get older they don't look you don't know which baby it is uh, for instance my mom my two my older sister my younger sister looked a lot alike as babies and for the longest time I believe there was a photo in our um, hallway she would have she had photos of all of us and they were like kind of clustered together like all of my photos were clustered together all of my older sister's photos were clustered together and all my younger sister's photos were clustered together and for the longest time there was a picture of my younger sister with my older sister's photos so I always got to think about that whenever I'm documenting pictures of babies that kind of look the same like um I feel like Finn and my nephew Warren look a lot alike but that is not a popular comparison in my family. I'm the only one that apparently thinks they look the same, uh, look very similar. But anyways, very much a tangent. So I will make sure that I put their names on here. That was my whole point in saying that. I used a little piece of a paper strip that I had cut off of a card when I was doing project, my project life page. And um, 
I just layered it or put it under the the word boys and beautiful boys. Now I'm doing some clustering over here and this is all going to change because I'm just not happy with the way that it looks and you're going to see me pull it off. I was really trying to include more of this green because it, there's green in the title and beautiful, but I really don't like the way that it looks and so I'm going to pull it all off here shortly. It's just not going to stay. I just don't like the way that it looks and so I'm getting rid of it. But I'm just trying to make the best use out of everything that's in the kit. And then this is, you can see I am struggling and I'm like, okay, well, what do I do? What do I do? Do I make all these layers over here? What do I do? And I realized I was making it too complicated. I was trying to include everything that was left and that just, it just doesn't look right. Like these flowers at the bottom, as beautiful as they are, they don't look right there. So I'm moving it. And this was a true indication to me that I am done with this kit because I am trying to force it to work and it is not working. So why do I keep trying? Sometimes there's a fine balance between wanting things to work and forcing things to work, especially when you're working within a kit and you want to make sure that you have the best use of the products. Like I want to make sure that I use my, my products and my stash as, as much as I possibly can. And I do want to use up packages because I don't want to constantly be buying more and more and more. I do want to use up packages and make sure that I'm utilizing my stash whenever I am scrapbooking. But there is a point where you realize that, okay, I can't make this work. And if I make this work, it's really not going to be a good thing. And that's kind of where I was with this one. I hope, well, I don't know that I wish anybody to have the same struggle as me, but I hope that's not just a weird, uncommon struggle that I, I'm the only one that has. <laughs> Maybe I am, and that's fine. But um, anyways, I have these two hearts left trying to decide where and if I want to use them. And I decided to go ahead and use them. They are like a pink and navy blue wood grain kind of pattern. And I go ahead and use them because they match that navy blue paper. And I already had the, the heart elements on my page. So I wanted to make sure that I just continued that across the page. Now, in ripping up those green pieces, I have to decide, okay, well, what else am I going to put here? Because I messed up the white cardstock. Now, I could have got another piece of white cardstock that wouldn't have been a big issue. But but in doing that, it made me kind of think a little bit outside the box. And I keep this little box of embellishments um, kind of beside my desk. And these are either half used packages or packages that I have had for quite a while and I want to try to use up. So I keep about 10 to 15 packages in that little box that I go through first whenever I'm trying to decide what I want to add to a kit. And then I went to my regular stash and pulled out these Amy Tangerine word stickers. And I'm just going to create a nice little cluster of words over here and I will read them all to you. By the way, the stickers that I used for the word boys, um, that is from a Bella Boulevard tiny text alpha sticker sheet and it's just the white ones. And then these glitter arrows that you saw me pull out, I am going to use a few of those and those are from Freckled Fawn. So these Amy Tangerine word stickers, what I end up using, and I'm just putting in a whole bunch of different words that kind of apply, and it just says smitten, best, you're my fave, keeper, you rule, meet cute, indeed, this was awesome, you make me happy, fun, and oh yes. And I just kind of like the way that it continues your eye down from that you got this die cut all the way down to the journaling. And this is where I'm adding a few of those little glitter arrows. And I'm much happier with the way that that cluster looks without having that green in there. I'm really trying to listen to what I feel looks best and just stop adding stuff for the sake of adding it. And um, sometimes that means that my layouts are kind of simple. Sometimes it means they're overly embellished. Sometimes it means that uh, it goes in a totally different direction of what I expect it to, but I am really trying to not just use thing for, things for the sake of using things, but use things because I like the way that they look, and that's really um, something I've really focused on. Now, I added a very small strip of that paper. It's the same one that I put under the word boys. I put it down here in the corner, and it's very subtle. You can't really see it very well on the camera screen, but you will be able to see it in the still photos at the end. And it's just to bring another little element down here at the bottom, kind of to complete that bottom corner. And then I'm adding my journaling. And of course, I like screw up the handwriting here trying to I like skipped a letter. I don't know what the heck. So I like skipped a letter. So I was going to put that here. And um, 
I just end up having to use a different piece of paper and it's fine because it brings that darker teal down here to the bottom. So this finishes out this layout. I was trying to decide if there's anything else I wanted to put in the very top corner and I do. I just layer a little bit of washi tape and that's just to kind of balance it out. The top was looking extremely blank to me and so I just go ahead and add a little bit up here at the top to kind of balance out. I'm looking through my paper strips to see if there's anything else that I want to add at the top and um, I just end up cutting a little piece of this dark uh, teal and that's the same that I used at the bottom. I just cut it off a little bit of that journaling card that I had been working with. So anyways that completes this layout. I hope you've enjoyed me working with the Citrus Twist Kit. I will be doing a kit review video for y'all soon so you can see everything I created as well as all the things that I have left and what I used up out of the kit and what my thoughts were. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a great afternoon and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye!